In this video I want to show you how to handle the new ripple marker function that came along with EDS 7.4. EDS 7.4 brings a lot of internal improvements like expanded codec compatibility but also brings some new program functions and one of them is the possibility to create sequence markers that move along with our clips on the timeline. To start with I want to show you how the behavior was up to now. I create a new sequence marker using my keyboard and the V key. I create a sequence marker at the beginning of this clip. You can see the sequence marker here, represented by the small triangle. And if I'm now going to delete one of my clips here in my timeline and I'm in the insert mode, you can see that the sequence marker stays at its original position without moving along with the clip underneath. In some cases this can be intentional of course, but in a lot of cases it would be good if I could create sequence markers that move along with my clips on my timeline. And EDS 7.4 adds the possibility to create sequence markers that move along with my clips on the timeline when inserting or deleting material. To use this new function, I first go to settings, user settings, and under user interface button, I can select mode bar. And what I want to do is to use this new button on my user interface. This new button, sync lock sequence marker, is for enabling or disenabling the new ripple marker behavior. And if I want to add this button to my user interface, I just select this button here and press the right arrow keys. And now I can drag and drop this button to place it at the end of this list here, so it will be added at this position. As soon as I click apply, you can see the new button appearing here. I confirm with OK. And now we can switch the sequence marker behavior on or off if the sequence markers should move along with our objects. And you can see at default this function is turned on. Nevertheless, if I delete a clip here on my timeline, my sequence marker doesn't move along automatically. And to explain this, I go here to sequence marker and we can see my sequence marker here on my timeline that I placed earlier has an anchor flag set here. And as soon as I deselect this anchor flag, you can see that the look of the marker changes. And if I'm now going to make changes to my objects on the timeline, for example, deleting one clip, you can see that the sequence marker moves along with my clips on the timeline. So if you want to set sequence markers that move along with your objects on your timeline, you first have to create a sequence marker and make sure that the anchor flag isn't set for this marker. And you have to make sure that this sync lock sequence marker function is enabled. Of course, I can mix different marker types on my timeline, for example, I want these two markers along with the clips underneath. And just for explanation, I set some more markers. And if I'm now going to make some changes to my timeline, for example, I'm inserting a clip at the beginning. You can see that these markers move along with the clips and the other two markers stay at their original position. If you want to set the anchor flag for a couple of markers, you can of course multi-select them here in the sequence marker area, for example, by using this rubber band and selecting or deselecting them. With this method, I can change the anchor flag for all of the selected markers very fast. 